Hey what's up guys, today we'll be looking at the best apps that you can get for your rooted device. Let's get started. First on the list is Magisk Manager. This app basically acts as your super user by either granting or denying root access. So the reason you'd want to get this one over Super SU is because it also includes support for different modes such as going to the download section and downloading Viper for Android, Emoji 1, Unified Adblock and even Exposed Installer. It also creates a log if you want to know which apps were granted root access. Other features include enabling Magisk Visibox, systemless hosts for Adblock and even hiding Magisk from being detected by other apps. So it's like one of the best apps to replace SuperSU for managing rooted devices. Next we have Viper for Android. This app sets a system wide equalizer for all your audio whether it's Spotify, YouTube or Google Play Music. You can change the audio for your headphones, phone speaker, Bluetooth devices and even USB dock. For headphones you get so many audio effects to choose from such as gain control, compressor, spectrum extension, surround sound, viper bass and clarity and even auditory system protection. You also get a master gate where you can set the channel pan, output gain and even threshold. For your phone speaker you can mess around with the equalizer and reverberation. But the feature I like most is extra loud which can increase the output gain of your phone by over 10 times. Viper for Android is an amazing app and you may not know how useful it is until you try it out yourself. Moving on is Wi-Fi Password Viewer. So this app is really simple. All it does is that it shows you the passwords of all the saved networks on your device. It does not hack into Wi-Fi networks but it helps you out if you forget the password of a saved network. You can also back up these passwords and even set a pin for the app to prevent other people from accessing the network passwords. It's a very simple concept but it can be very helpful in case someone types in the password for you but doesn't want to share it with you. Following that is SD Made, which you can use to clean up your Android device. So it actually works unlike other cleaner apps like Clean Master or Dew Booster. It uses root access to find and delete obsolete and duplicate files and databases. Other features include app control which lets you kill, freeze, reset or completely remove any app with its files. Another is Corpse Finder which deletes files that belong to apps that you've already uninstalled. System Cleaner removes those unnecessary system files that are safe to delete. And you can also scan for duplicate files and choose to delete the extra copies. By the way if you have some really important files then you can add them to the exclusions list so that estimate does not include them in the scan. Next we have Fontfix, which is practically your one stop store for different fonts for free. You get over a thousand fonts under categories such as serif, monospace and even handwriting. Also for fonts you get different variants such as bold, italics, light and thin. You can also preview the fonts, glyphs, size and other information of the font. To install the font you have to tap on the plus sign and hit install. The app is really easy to use and you'll be changing fonts in no time. After that we have HEFB Optimizer. This is your all-in-one toolbox for battery and performance tweaks. For battery improvements it optimizes Wi-Fi interval scans, enables power saving mode and even disables error reporting without impacting performance. Under the performance tab you can improve multitasking, enable game booster, and even GPU acceleration to increase the rendering quality. You can also use the app to tweak internet settings to use the Google DNS in order to improve 3G speed, browsing and even video streaming. Other tools include battery calibration, DPI changer and even disabling logging. You can also get a RAM manager to optimize memory and a cleaner to get rid of junk files. Next we have Flashfire. So this is the app you'd want to get if you constantly backup, wipe or flash ROMs on your Android device. You get 5 main options that are backup, restore, flash firmware package or OTA and completely wipe the device. Under backup you can save device IDs, full backup that are all the partitions or even get a fast boot flashable backup. For restoring you can choose either a backup zip from your file or restore from ADB. Flashing is pretty simple, all you have to do is select the zip file you want to flash. Under wipe you get many options that is you can remove system data only, third party apps, 
internal storage or completely get rid of everything. Following that is Servicely. This app basically manages all the running services and wake lock apps. So using this app you can check which apps can wake up the device and enable or disable them accordingly. This helps save battery as the screen won't have to turn on for every app notification. You can also check which services are currently running in the background and even kill the unnecessary ones. This helps free RAM meaning both performance and battery will be improved. It's a very simple app that'll make your phone more efficient. Moving on we have Kernel Auditor. Using this app you can get almost any information regarding the device whether it's hardware or software. Tweaking includes managing the CPU core by turning them on or off, setting the CPU frequency limits and even enabling CPU boost. You can also set the CPU voltages or even use Qualcomm's CPU hotplug solution. You can also manage the GPU by choosing the appropriate frequency and governor. The app also allows you to mess with the screen settings such as color and saturation and even contrast. You can also boost your phone speakers by increasing the speaker and volume gain. Other settings include USB fast charge for all devices, low memory killer and virtual memory. Finally we have Lucky Patcher. Now it's not a new app but it's definitely one of the most popular root apps on Android. With it you can add custom patches to apps, enable in-app and LVL emulation to get in-app purchases for free or even maybe create a modified APK file. You can also enable certain switches to get license verification and Google billing emulation. Under toolbox you can block ads, install a modded Google Play Store and even Odex system apps to free up internal storage. So it's an app that can really come in use in modding and getting paid stuff for free.